Yo, what's good? And again, back for another After Effects editing tutorial. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna upload again for like a minute now, but I figured let me just get consistent. The last video did good. It's a 2 out of 10. It's doing well. Appreciate you guys for your support. And I do want to do more tutorials that are original, creative, and not just like oversaturated that everyone's been doing. But like, I'm having brain farts, bro. I don't know what to do, man. I figured this effect, I know a lot of people don't know how to do it. And it's very easy, simple. Like, it's very, it's like simple, really. But I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this warp stabilizer effect. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and let's carry on to the tutorial. All right, so now we're in After Effects. You know, make your comp. My comp is 1920 by 1080, 24 FPS. So as you guys saw in the reference preview, it's an unreleased video um, that I did for Tata. It's an unreleased song, unreleased video. So you guys are seeing a little preview of it. But, you know, it's not a big of a deal if I show, like, one part of an effect I did. It's basically stabilized motion, warp stabilized, whatever you want to call it. It's an effect that tracks the motion of someone's face. Whatever surface you want to track, it'll track that motion. So if it's moving up and down, your whole video is going to follow the face subject and it'll move up and down. But yeah, in this clip, as you see, I'm going to show you the raw clip. But as you see in the preview, with the way he's, he's moving in the camera movement, it just it adds more energetic movement. So to make the video harder and stand out a lot more. Now what we're going to do, we're going to find out where we want to add that warp stabilizer. Gee, let's preview this again and let's see what we want to do. I want to do it when he says come here. Yeah, right here. We're going to add a marker here and I'm going to cut it. Now we're going to hit double hit L, by the way, to, to bring out these waveforms, if you don't know. Or you can just hit down on this little arrow key on the left side where your layers are. And then audio and then waveform. You'll see that there. Now we're also going to mark the beat. Come here. Because that's where we would cancel out the face tracking. So yeah, here on the middle clip, that's going to be where we're going to do the tracking. Let me change the color to yellow. Now, all you want to do is on your right side, you're going to have all these options here. All these little uh, windows, I guess, right? Our main window is the tracker. Now, if you don't see your tracker on this right tab, what you want to do is go up top left right here. File, edit, composition. You want to go to the window tab, click it, and then you'll have all these extra little tools, right? All these workspace. Now, you want to go down to see tracker. And you want to make sure it's checked. See, once I uncheck it, it's not there. Window, tracker. Now it appears. You can drag it wherever you want. And there you go. There you have the track. Now, make sure you're on the first frame of your clip. It's optional, but just put it full so it can track. You know, it can get more points on, on your subject's face. So, yeah. Now, what you want to do is hit stabilize motion. It's going to bring you to an extra layer. It's the same layer, but a different tab. Now, you want to zoom in. It should say track point one. You should zoom in, and there should be this two box. On the box on the outside of this box, you want to click the edge and make it a little bit bigger. Now, the second box, you also want to do the same thing, but not as much like that. Perfect. Now, what you want to do is track this little plus sign to the nose of your face or any uh, like any subject you have. You want to make sure it's the center. So, for example, the face, the nose is the center. So what we're going to do is click the outside of it and drag it up to the nose. Now, it's right there. Now, there's two things you can do. Sometimes you can just the play button and it'll, you know, track on its own. But you see it's not tracking properly. So, what we're going to do is control Z. Now, what I like to do to have the precise like tracking, I just go frame by frame. It'll load. See, it's going to his cheek. We don't want them. We want to go to the nose. Just keep doing that. And yeah, you just you manually track it to the nose. Or sometimes if your thing is like very high quality, it It'll track like by itself perfect but it's very rare see see now it's doing it kind of but you want to make sure it's in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect because at, at the end of the day you're still going to have that motion regardless and that's what you want for your video so we're going to keep doing that i'm gonna i'm gonna fast forward this and show you guys what it looks like at the end now we're closing into the end we're doing the last couple frames now he moved his face towards the right side so we're still going to track to the nose because obviously that's the center we want it to like you know take up the whole face now we're at the end set off now what we want to do is hit this apply now also the position should be defaulted check and you don't really have to mess with any of these rotation is just going to make your video look very crazy you really don't want that so yeah now you just hit apply make sure x and y are enabled now we're going to get something like this so i don't know if you guys noticed but obviously look at the clip you're seeing a lot of black spaces and the clip is just moving everywhere but the center now what we're gonna do is what i like to do personally is on your on your layer where you did the or motion on the layer you did the stabilized motion what you want to do is hit s on your keyboard enable keyframe by clicking this clock on the left side p on your keyboard and now you're going to enable the position by clicking the clock as well u on your keyboard to view all keyframes scroll down now you see both position and scale keyframes you want to go like a couple keyframes forward now you want to zoom in and make sure his face is centered on this box which is the middle of your of your composition in the middle of your clip and basically what you're going to get is a zoom in with his face being in the middle but if his face is going towards the left or right side just adjust it in the middle and we'll have something like this I don't come here. I 
wanna fuck. I wanna fuck. Like I don't I come here. I wanna fuck. So basically, you see there's movements, right? It's checking his face and stuff like that. Now, what makes this, what's gonna make this effect look even cooler is when you enable motion. Motion blur is the second box that you need to check on the left side of where all your clips would be. Now you see, look at the motion blur. Look, it's gonna look ten times better. See, it's adding a lot more energy and a lot more, a lot more impact to your videos, especially when you add a shake right here with the beat hits. It'll just look perfect. Let me add that and I can show you guys here. Now with the shake added, let's see what we get. You get a nice bit of that energetic, the power, the impact, and you know, the vibe of the video just shoots up a lot more. It's a very useful and essential effect that you guys need to know. So yeah, that's how you do this stabilized motion effect in After Effects. If you guys did enjoy it and you guys learned something new today, make sure you guys leave a like in this video, subscribe if you're new, and comment if you guys like to see any more tutorials from me. If you have any ideas or if you have anything you want to execute yourself but don't know how to, please leave them comments and I'll try to figure it out for you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.